The first step in installing a hard drive is to set the master-slave jumpers on the rear of the drive according to the manufacturer's installation instructions. Since most hard drives are smaller than the opening in a chassis, your next step is usually to install a series of rails on either side of the drive. This makes the drive wider and allows it to fit snugly into the opening on your chassis. Use screws to secure the rails to both sides of the hard drive and secure the rails snugly but don't over tighten them. If your chassis allows a drive to clip into place, your next step would be to install a series of clips on either side of your drive rails. Once the clips are installed and bolted securely into place, you'll be able to slide the drive directly into the chassis and have it clip into place rather than bolting it permanently. Now it's a matter of inserting the drive into the chassis and pushing it into place until it clips. Once installed, you'll need to connect the drive's signal and power cables. Start with the 40-pin IDE ribbon cable and attach it to the connector on the rear of the drive. Be sure to pay attention to the location of pin 1. Now connect an appropriate 4-pin power connector to the drive. At this point, you can power up the system and prepare the drive for service and your installation should be complete.